very important. You should always do a net present value. Um, most financial calculators have it. Spreadsheets have it. You can find it online. Do a net present value by discounting your savings over time. Um, I have done this for a four kilowatt system, which is a big array on a house. Um, I think their annual savings or their current savings monthly were about 150, 125 a month is what they were able to really demonstrate the same house before and after solar on it. Uh, when you figure out the financing cost or the opportunity cost of what they could have done with that, and you discount their savings over time by even a modest 5%, which I think is very conservative, you don't end up with a whole lot of residual value to a solar array. Um, I talked with another appraiser who gave a similar presentation last week, and somebody asked him about that. He used current sales analysis and went all over town for it. Um, but well, we both came up with the same answer. Somewhere between 5 and 10. 10 is really pushing it. Um, I haven't seen a 10 yet. Uh, he felt like he had a $10,000 solar array that was huge and was huge savings on the house. But even he admitted, yeah, that's probably a bit much. Um, 5 to 7 is probably all you're